according to the dictates of Legion of Mary, the special gowns worn by the priest are only knitted by the holy mothers or the nuns. And in their absence, then the deacons assumes their roles. <laughs> so anybody else would not be allowed to make these clothes. Okay. minutes of cleansing and spiritual intervention the holy man of the land stands out sparkling and anoint <laughs> what he stands out sparkling after the holy man of the land stands out sparkling and anointed ready to bear the burden of the faithful to the cross of jesus what what doctrine is that wait uh, just a second he said what after 20 minutes of cleansing and spiritual intervention, the holy man of the land stands out sparkling and anointed ready to bear the burden of the faithful to the cross of Jesus. He bears the cross of Jesus. Where did they get that? But you remember transubstantiation, whatever. So they take in that doctrine that when you have the, the bread and the wine, it represents the blood of Jesus literally. So that whole thing means that the person who's doing the service, meaning the priest, is is a vicar. So they call it vicarious fidelity. You are in the place of Christ. That's the doctrine that these people are taking to say this this statement here. Intervention. The holy man of the land stands out sparkling and anointed ready to bear the burden of the faithful to the cross of Jesus. He bears, he bears the wit, uh, what? I can't even repeat the Spiritual nonsense. Intervention. The holy man of the land stands out sparkling and anointed ready to bear the burden of the faithful to the cross of Jesus. He bears the, <laughs> I can't. I can't be bothered. <laughs> and so, as you might see, we are looking into a a fake Catholic church. You might call it that. A a Catholic church fake. I think is it Kenya? Yeah. In Kenya. That has been online. I I think I had seen it maybe once or twice. But I thought it was just another Catholic Church because they have different robes and stuff like that. So I thought maybe they were like a branch of some sort uh, from another different denomination, but still Catholic. You know, like Orthodox mix with Catholic because they tend to be those ones. So I thought it was just that. But then it turns out they have some very strange doctrines and stuff like that. For instance, for one, the name of this particular one is called Ligio Maria. And basically it is known as Ligio Maria, an African church mission uh, and Mary something, an African integrated church of the new religion movement amongst the... Oh, Jesus. Now, it says it emerges as an extension of the interpretation of of the three secrets of Fatima. What secrets? <laughs> what secret? <laughs> hey, when people don't read the Bible, they become problematic. You know, secret. You saw these words. Have to be special by all means. But anyways, we're going to go back and listen to some of the things that these people actually bring themselves to believing or some of the teachings that they actually believe. It's the actually show daily Christian commentary videos. That was a late introduction. And so, let's go back there. All right. You can play. You can play. In the darkness to its den. Uh, 
much it is a holy Sabbath. And everyone has to conform to the norms. The house of Mary or Nyumbaya Maria stands symbolic at the far corner in this holy land. Maurice Amani, one of the deacons, confirms that the house is reserved for special functions. It is used as a dressing room for the holy men of legend. Hey, whose picture is this one now? No, Maria serves as a store for the priest's gown, as well as a healing sanctuary. <laughs> Barring life burdens, convert here seeking the intervention of the Holy Mary for a breakthrough in their daily life problems. Hey, the size of the rosaries. Like the Roman Catholic Church, where the priest and their father. What kind of healing? That person is in pain. You can see she's like, like the Roman look at her face. Church, where the she's in pain. Families reside in the church convent in Legio Maria. The convent remains holy. Only the priest is allowed to reside at the church convent. We do the mass every day. That's why I stay here. But my family does not stay here. In, 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 uh, in Legio Maria Church, if you are a priest, you must have your private residence where your family stays, and the church residence. At the church residence, it is a matter of purity. You are not supposed to live there with your wife, be to avoid maybe, you know the devil is a liar, quarrels, or maybe uh, this temptation of intimacy. At <laughs> I could hear where it was going. <laughs> I, you know, these temptations of bedroomings and stuff like that. Ah, so if you are married... It's not an unholy union. <laughs> Start your Bible. <laughs> the church compound completely no. Father Milton Ochen. How many robes is this man them wearing? He's been dressing. Okay. You've been dressing since we started here. How long? How many gowns is he wearing? He has to officiate the Holy Communion Mass. He is in the company of his service men and women as melodious songs voiced by elegant choir penetrates the hearts of the faithful awaiting for spiritual nourishment. I need to fast forward you. First, Taste that picture again. Okay. Mama Maria's intervention by humbling himself before the only remaining portraiture of the Holy Mother and the religious monument. Who is this one now? You have someone else there. For the only Milton six Mama Maria's intervention by humbling himself before the only remaining portraiture of the Holy Mother and the religious monument of Messiah Ondeto. They even have another Messiah. <laughs> so he wants the intervention of Mary and then. He seeks the he seeks the assistance of his Messiah. What is wrong with people? As a sign of pillow of faith, in absence of the priest, no one else takes up his seat. In my absence, actually, the mass cannot be performed fully, but a deacon has an extent to which he can do the mass. 
but he cannot do it fully. Like blessing the or a consecration now, when it comes to the blood and body of Jesus, the deacon cannot do that. So in, in my absence, we recite rosaries. When I'm, for example, I'm hmm. Look at those rosaries. very sick, I'm away, they, they end up reciting rosaries. But there is a structure in Legio Maria that when a priest is absent, like now I'm under my bishop in this diocese, I report to my bishop. Before I report to my bishop, we have a superior father. I report to him and I... Who is the superior father now? Tell him I'll be away. So he will assign a priest from a church where there are two to come and sit in for me. Then he will conduct the mass. But when there is no priest, we end up reciting rosaries and the catechist will take over the role of, uh, of, uh, uh, of, of teaching that day. Yeah, that's why we have more than one catechist. In the event one is absent, the other one will take over. According to then the rope thing that they mentioned. have to ensure the incense remained burning, where the candle at the holy altar, adorned by pictures of Simeon Lodvikas, must never go off. So the lights must not... And they even have their own saints, you see. In the high mass like this one, we normally use white candles. White candles, that is why you could see everybody in the church had, uh, um, uh, we say, uh, white robes. On Sundays, it is strictly white. Except on Pentecost Sunday, okay, we use white, but uh, maybe the robes of the priest will become a red on Pentecost Sunday. You remember when Jesus appeared to them or... Okay, of course they have their own... They have their own Messiah, their own Mary. Who was that one on the... There's like two different other people on the, on the thingy, on their altars. They put them on chairs. And this is, I'm guessing, these are the candles that must never go off or whatever. Even though that is a lot. Ah, it's a lot. If you don't watch out, you'll find yourself. <laughs> you are in false, you are in false religion. <laughs> if you like things too much. You know, this just goes to show you here. This just goes to show you. There's a lot that can deceive. It's a lot. And it's like humans just continue cooking. New religions, new ideas for religions. You know? It's like everyone wants to spice things. <laughs> and tell out their own version. The clothes. Eh? It's just when you think you have had it all. At least if they were faking something re real. Yeah, to go and fake Catholic Church. The fake of the fake. Ah, there's a lot that can deceive. This year, it just goes to show you, one must stay vigilant at all times.